If you want a free Bible, don't be afraid to ask. God bless you. Some people may be wondering how to forgive their enemies. I don't know if there is an official way. Allow me to tell you what works for me. Number one, command the demons to leave. I think sometimes when someone does me wrong, negative thoughts about that person may come to my mind. I may command the demons to leave. Or you can say, demons, I bind and cast you out. I may say that until the negative thoughts leave my mind. Number two, pray for your enemies. You may believe that is too difficult to do. I believe the more you do it, the easier it will be to forgive your enemies. Pray blessings for your enemies, if I said that right. Pray to God for him to bless your enemies. I guess pray blessings over your enemies sounds right too, I think. Pray for good things to happen to your enemies. Don't pray for your enemies to get cursed. Don't pray for bad things to happen to your enemies. Why? I believe we are going to reap what we sow. So if you pray for your enemies to get cursed, I believe that is going to return to you. So I believe it is wise to pray good things for our enemies. God, I want my enemy to go to prison and serve 20 years and bad things that happen to them. I mean him or her. I believe when you pray like that, I believe when you pray like that, you are cursing yourself as well. I believe that. You may disagree with me, but I believe that. Let's continue. Okay. Number three, force yourself to think and speak positively about your enemies. So look for good things about your enemy. And you can say it or rehearse it in your mind. So instead of thinking negatively about your enemies, as in, hey, that person is so mean, that person is this, that person is that, hey, say to yourself or in your mind, that person is so nice, that person is so kind, that person is so loving, that person is so caring. 
that person is compassionate. And you may say to me, Kevin, that person, that person isn't nice or kind or loving, so on and so on. Okay. Say these words. How can I say that? I mean, say nice things about your enemies in faith. Faith is what? Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So you may say that, how can I say that my enemy or enemies are nice when they aren't. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So if you can't see it, if you believe it isn't there, you have to speak it in faith. Because if it is there, and if you can see it, would you need to use your faith? No. So you can say it in faith. For instance, let's say a person is being really rude to me. Or let's say that person is being really hateful toward me. Hey, that person is so nice. That person is so kind. That person speaks to me with so much love and compassion. In actual life, that may not be true, but I am speaking in faith, and some people may believe that is lying. That is not lying if you are speaking in faith. I pray that this makes sense. Perhaps you may have to study more on faith. Okay, let's continue. Number four, give gifts to your enemies. You may believe that is going too far. You may believe giving gifts to your enemies will encourage them to continue to treat you poorly. Let's go to Romans chapter 12, verses 16 through 21. And I believe these verses are speaking about how to treat your enemy. So to sum up these verses in my own words, continue to be nice and help your enemies, even when they aren't doing the same for you. So let's jump down to verse 20 and let's go to what is in the red. For in so doing, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. I believe that is saying your enemies will feel shame if you continue being nice and helpful to them while they are not nice and helpful to you. I pray that this makes sense. Number five. Help your enemies when they ask. 
maybe offer your assistance as well. So, in some way or form, help out your enemies. Help them as if nothing bad happened between you all. If you follow these steps, I truly believe you will be able to forgive your enemies. You may believe these steps won't work for you. How do you know that if you don't try them? Do these steps more than once. Continue to do them over and over and over again. If you do that, I truly believe you will see a change. Let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you are showing love to other people. God bless you.